Well, today is six months in the waiting. <laughs> yeah. And one of our favorite things to do. Mm -hmm. So today, after six months of waiting, we are finally going to make our next donation. Yes. Donation day. Yeah, and we heard you in our live event uh, when we asked if we should split it or give it all to one organization. Yeah. Uh, and we're, we were planning to split it. However, stuff happened. We were in Virginia Beach. We were supposed to make a donation to one organization there. We got run off by the hurricane, so we were unable to make that donation. Mm -hmm. um, we could have done like a virtual thing, but I really just feel like the in-person thing is more personal. Yeah. And you don't really get a good vibe until you're there in person. Yeah, it's not a good feel of how, what they're doing. You don't feel like you yeah. really get it. Exactly. So. And we want to be good stewards of the money that's donated to us, yeah. that's entrusted to us, to mm -hmm. get to these veteran organizations. So today, we are going to go give a, a, a donation to an organization that's a little bit different than any other organization we've ever donated to. Yes, and, I, and I'm glad about that. Yeah. I like it that it is different. There's There are varieties of ways to help veterans. Yeah, and they don't know it yet, but this is the <laughs> largest donation that we have ever given because... We normally give every three months. We mm -hmm. weren't unable to give in May because we were trapped because of the Rona. So yep. now we have six months of funds saved up. So they're going to get the whole shoot and match. Yes. They don't know that yet. No. So hopefully they'll be very excited. So we're going to go meet with Lisa today from Healing Household Six. Mm -hmm. And so I'll explain a little bit about the uh, definition of the name of the organization so we don't have to worry about that when we right get there. there. Yeah. Um, so in the military there's call signs on the radio and mm -hmm. the commander is always the number six followed by their mascot so cobra six warrior six bulldog six the commander is always six mm -hmm. so when we talk about household six we're talking about the military spouse yes so this organization helps military spouses we won't go into too much detail about that right now because we want to get lisa to tell us mm -hmm. all about the cool things that they're doing for military spouses and I wanted to talk a little bit about our check, which we've never talked about before. Okay. So we have the big check, which we got like at Staples. Yeah. And so it's matted and glossy so that we can use a dry erase and mm -hmm. so we can reuse it. So this is just for ceremonial purposes only. Yeah. And we reuse this every time we make a donation. Mm -hmm. uh, we only used it once, which was back in February in Houston. Yeah. Um, but we'll be using it again today. And so I wanted to tell you a little bit about the... Um, the meaning behind some of the things on the check. You can see the check number up here is 22, and that represents the 22 That's veterans right. per day who commit suicide. Of course, it has our name, and in the background is the Wayward Wags logo, the American flag, and the bald eagle, which represents freedom. And then it looks like a regular check everywhere else. The check number again down here is the number 22 for the 22 veterans mm -hmm. who commit suicide every day. The number over here, which is normally would be Your routing the number. routing number, mm -hmm. we changed those numbers to reflect the date that we started our full-time RV living adventure, yeah. which was September 3rd, 2019. So you can mm -hmm. see that right there. And then over here, we changed this number, which would normally be the account number yes. on the check, to the date that we made our first donation. Mm -hmm. And that was to Waypoint Ranch in Georgia. And um, that was just what kicked it off. So we put yeah. that date on there and that was um, August 4th, 2019. So we are here with Lisa from Healing Household 6. Finally, after six months. It's been forever. Of waiting felt like forever. to do a donation. Yeah. And the, the Rona has gotten us hung up <laughs> and hurricanes have gotten us hung up. But we're finally here to make a donation. So Lisa, thank you for having <laughs> us come out and hang out at your house and meet you and learn more about your organization. And if I'm correct, I think you are the executive director of Healing Household 6, correct? That is yeah. correct. Cool. <laughs> and so... I already explained to the audience a little bit earlier about the definition of the name of the organization, but tell us a little bit more about what Healing Household 6 does. So Healing Household 6 is really focused on families and keeping them together and keeping that relationship strong mm -hmm. after deployments, after yeah. war, um, especially right now when we feel like a lot of organizations aren't really focused on this anymore. Yeah. By war for 20 years. I will yeah. definitely agree. Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of people out there don't really realize the struggle that military spouses go through. We always hear about the service member, we hear about combat, we hear about PTSD and TBI and how the service member is having to deal with those, those issues. But we don't often hear about how the spouse the behind the scenes. has to deal with, yeah. with those issues. So tell us 
how specifically you assist these spouses in finding the support that they need. So what we find is that it's a lot of transition issues. Yeah. They just yeah. don't know what those support systems mm -hmm. are when you're doing medical retires to oh, be transition. We were lost at medical retirement. We were like, somebody yeah. show us where to go. It's so tough to navigate <laughs> all these systems. It is. And sometimes you don't even know the verbiage, especially yeah. if you're a more recent spouse or you've never dealt with those injuries yeah. before. The lingo is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we assign different advocates, what is what we call them, okay. and they have different knowledge bases. So if you're dealing with a medical board, you might be working with somebody who's familiar with that process of retirement. Oh, cool. You might be dealing with another veteran who has been through the VA system mm -hmm. and knows all of the ins and outs of how those things work with benefits, yeah. combat related yes. you know, payments and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But then we also have people that are just assigned for case management. Yeah. Simply just telling you what the resources are especially yeah. when it comes to substance abuse and things like that, the VA just okay. isn't, you know, handling well. Yeah. So. That's tough, too, because a lot of people don't know what resources are available. And then when they when there are so many resources available, that can become overwhelming That's also. A, yeah. So it you really know, like, is. Where do yeah. we start? Yeah. <laughs> it, it is because all of the organizations and resources out there have different criteria. Yeah. yeah. And so our job is to know all of that for you. Exactly. Like, cool. Make it easy. These are the things. We put everything you have into the system. And this is what pops up that you fit the bill for okay. that can be helpful rather than harmful. Yeah. And we try to navigate it that yeah. way just to kind of be that case manager. Very cool. So so very yeah. customized to the needs of absolutely. that specific spouse. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. So I'm always curious to hear the stories behind how organizations like this got started. It's usually like at a, a restaurant. Uh, yeah. Over a cup of coffee, coffee yeah. or a beer, or you're jotting down ideas on napkins, and it's always like something's got to change and somebody's got to do something, so I'll be that somebody who will do something. So tell us a little bit about how Healing Household Six got started. It's really funny that you mentioned restaurants <laughs> because <laughs> no, I, did it. Um, I used to manage the, most of the restaurants here in town. At one point, I oh. managed the country club, um, but I had opened Ale House, Carolina yeah. Ale House. Okay, in cool. Town. Oh, okay. Wow. And so 150 waitresses on wow. a given day that you're responsible for and whatnot. And of course, I was a bit older and they were a bit younger. And so it was this constant come in of coming into my office, doing the cash out, doing the schedule, yeah. and just kind of standing there frozen. Mm. I have to tell somebody something and I don't know who to tell. It's yeah. not, I'm not in danger, yeah. but it's serious. It's, What's going on in my home is serious. Yeah. And I'm worried about my spouse. I'm worried yeah. about my kids. And this was just repeated for years, for wow. years. And one day I just kind of stepped back and thought, oh gosh, who's going to do this? Who's going to take care of it? Yeah. So I called around to different organizations. I grew up in the military, yes, right, with the people that are running these bait wards. Wow. Yeah. And I said, hey, I've got an ask. Can you help me out? And people were like, ooh, that sounds like yeah. domestic violence. So I'm not <laughs> yeah, interested. Like, I don't want to touch that. So I, I quit Al House and oh, wow. I opened HH6 three months later. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So in a restaurant, on a napkin, oh, yeah. talking wow. to spouse. There you go. That's so true. it does happen that, that way. True yeah, story. and so tell us about your staff and your funding. So funding typically comes from other domestic violence grants, family oriented, hmm. child safety grants, things yeah. like that. Um, the Independence Fund, which is also out of North Carolina, has been a huge um, influence on our organization because they provide our caregivers with help for their veteran, yeah. their track chairs and things of that yeah. nature. Um, and we've had just community donations, really. We operate on less than 50000 a year. Wow. wow. And we have all volunteers. We have all 32 volunteers. volunteers right now that's, that's at Veterans Caregivers. Wow. That's and they impressive. just kind of donate their own time. That's so sweet. That's very yeah. cool. And so what is the biggest need right now? So for example, if if one of our viewers mm -hmm. donates to your organization, where is the money going today? So we're doing a True. lot of TRICARE mm -hmm. co-pays right now. Okay. We're providing a lot of assistance for food and clothing Good. for these families. Uh, school starting. So yeah. school supplies are yeah. about to be our oh, big yeah. ask. Yep. Uh -huh. We get asked every year, but we anticipate that with the cost of technology and yeah. all of these different things that they have to have to enter the school system, we're going to probably right. get hard with that. Wow. Um, surprisingly, domestic violence has not been our ask as far as leaving the home right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but more marriage counseling, yeah. 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 trying to find a hobby that everyone can do at home. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of thing. Okay, cool. How long has Healing Household 6 been in existence for? Five years now, this spring. Okay. It was five years. Wow. And do you have like any 
uh, number of spouses that you've been able to help, like a ballpark figure, how many have you been able to help so far? Sure. So, so far in that five years, we've, we've relocated over 300, about 300 spouses wow. so far. And some of that is active duty, some yeah. of it is caregivers, some of it is widows yeah. um, that just don't have the services they need afterwards right. and they don't have the benefits. Yeah. Um, we have about 800 families in our support network and wow. that is marriage oh. counseling, that's help with childcare, uh, support, peer support groups and things like that. And those people also have taken advantage of case management. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Wow. So for the people who are, who are watching today, that want to help your organization, how can they get in touch with you? How can they donate? What can they do to help? Yeah. So we have our Facebook page, which is Healing Household 6. It's really easy to search. And our website is www.healinghousehold6.org. Okay. Um, those are the easiest ways to contact us because we like to keep our lines for emergencies. Yeah. Um, to donate, you can go right to the website. There's different options. We do gas cards, hotel oh, cool. cards, oh, wow. all kinds of things. You can donate miles, sky, sky miles. Yeah. Very cool. And those kinds of things have really help us with transportation for funerals and getting families yes. home and reconnected for vacations. Wow. Um, and then, of course, you know, monetary donations mm -hmm. all always are, yeah. are needed with our organization. Absolutely. Awesome. Man, I never thought of, like, mileage donations. There's so That's, many ways to help yeah. organizations out. Yeah. That's crazy. I think we're just used to this monetary ask. Yeah. yeah. We would love tangibles, too. Send yeah. them our way. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> now, thank you so much, Lisa, for having us out. We really appreciate you taking the time to, to tell us about Healing Household 6 and all the great things that you guys are doing. In this the one community. to me was especially exciting yeah. when he mentioned when he, we were researching places and he found this because I'm like it's it's different than the norm for us and I want to have variety in our veteran donations. Yeah. So this one made me happy. We really are outside the box. So we love when people like you guys want to talk to us, right? Yeah. Because a lot of people go, oh, they're the domestic violence yes. org. And I'm like, yeah. oh, no. No. More than, like that's <laughs> yeah. the last thing we yeah. want to be doing. It's like, you know, at the very end of what we've we tried to do. Yeah. yeah. But we really are here to help the whole family. And mm -hmm. it's important that people see that, that you're included. Like yes. for a system that never includes a spouse. Sure does. You're yeah. included. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's huge. It's very it cool. Major. Very cool. Very cool. So now the fun part. Yes. We're going to give you some money. <laughs> To help with the, these spouses and to help with all the, the great things that you're doing in the community. And because it's Healing Household 6 mm -hmm. and this is my Household 6, right. I'm going to let right. my Household 6 <laughs> you let present. present the check today <laughs> to Healing Household 6. Oh boy. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> now I feel pressure. You can just It's just like Santa, right? You just, so I'll okay. say first that, that this, because we normally donate every three months. And we got held up because of, of the Rona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had to skip one. So this is, uh, instead of three months worth of us collecting money, this is six, six, worth, months. six months worth. Wow. So this is the largest donation that we've, we've ever made, so made to, to an organization. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'll let her yeah. give that to you. So we are so happy. I'm gonna this, I know, I'm like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this one really excites me. Oh. <laughs> we wanna present you with a check for $1,500. Oh, thank you. This is so and much. Hope it goes a long way. It we really will. will. It really will go a long way right Good. now, especially for what's, with what's going on right yeah. now. It's so important for these it families. Is. I'm so excited to oh. see what you do with it. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, guys. It could not be possible no. without you and watching and donating and all the great things that you do out there. We have such great followers and supporters. But yes, we couldn't do it without them. We will put a link to all of the stuff for Healing Household <laughs> 6 in, uh, in the description of this video. And we'll also put it on our website at waywardwags.com in our RVing for Veterans section. So go look for that. Links to everything that you need to find for Healing Household 6. Mm -hmm. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs>